Hey guys, Alicia here. Now today I am going to be making up some cinnamon breadsticks that start from the two ingredient dough base. Now I love the two ingredient dough and all the different things that you can do with it. This is just another example of a way that you can use it. And I know some of you guys like this dough as much as I do, so when I find new ways to use it, I like to share those with you. So that's what this recipe is. It's just another way to use the two ingredient dough, and that is for cinnamon breadsticks. Now I recently did a cheesy Italian breadstick with this dough too. I will link that up above and down below if you haven't seen that. Those are absolutely delicious. You would never know that they were a lightened up version of breadsticks. And same goes for these too. But these are just kind of a sweet take on the breadsticks. But they're super easy. I'm gonna be doing mine in my air fryer today. Now you can absolutely do these in the oven if you want. And I will have the oven temp and time down in the description box along with the instructions for the air fryer. But let me jump in and show you what you're gonna need to make these. So first off, you're gonna need one and an eighth cup self-rising flour. A cup of that is gonna be for the dough and then the eighth I always factor in for kneading and rolling out the dough. Next up, you're gonna need some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I'm using this member's mark here. You're gonna need three quarter cup. Now I will say the best yogurt that I've found for doing this dough is the Chobani, but to be completely honest, <laughs> I'm too cheap to buy that. This is a whole lot less expensive than the Chobani. I get this at Sam's Club and it works really well too, but the Chobani, I would say, out of all the ones that I have used, is probably the best in this dough. Um, but again, I'm using this today and it works, it works really well too. So that's the base of the dough. And to that, I'm gonna be adding a teaspoon vanilla extract and a tablespoon of this Lakanto powdered monk fruit sweetener. I'm really liking the Lakantos. I've been trying, well, I've now tried the three, the granulated, the powdered, and the brown, and I like all of them. And that's actually kind of surprising to me because I do not really care for the uh, sugar substitutes, but these ones so far are the best that I've used. So I've been using them quite a bit and been really happy with them. So anyway, that is going to be what you're going to be using for your dough. For the topping, I'm going to be using some of this Brummel and Brown made with real yogurt butter spread. This is kind of my favorite. I haven't found one that I like better than this one, but you could use whatever type of light butter spread you want. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of cinnamon and some of the granulated Lakanto. So here in a medium sized bowl, I'm gonna add in my cup of self-rising flour and my three quarter cup fat-free Greek yogurt and tablespoon of that powdered Lakanto. And then I'm gonna just mix all of those together until a dough starts to form. Here's how my dough's looking. So now on a floured surface, I'm going to knead this for about five minutes. I've got that all kneaded, so now what I'm gonna do is cut it in half because I can only fit half of this dough in my air fryer at a time. Now, if you're doing this in the oven, you can just roll this out to fit like a standard size cookie sheet. So just roll it out into one rectangular piece. But again, it won't fit in my air fryer as one. So I'm gonna take each piece Add a little bit more flour, and then I'm gonna roll this dough out to roughly fit my air fryer here. And while I'm getting this rolled out, I'm also gonna be preheating my air fryer. I wanna get it preheated for at least three minutes before I cook my dough in it. But I'll get this rolled out, and then I will be back to show you the next steps. I've got this rolled out. And also, while I was rolling that out, I went ahead and melted up my three tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown. And my air fryer is preheated. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got my air fryer basket here and I've got it on a silicone liner here so I don't burn my countertop. But I'm gonna go ahead and on my silicone liner that I've got in my air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz a little olive oil on that. And that's just for a little extra protection against sticking. Then I'm gonna take my dough and I'm gonna lay it on that liner. 
I'm gonna go ahead and spritz the top of it with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm gonna air fry this for about five to six minutes. And I don't think I said earlier, but on 350. I let this cook in there for five minutes and this is how it's looking. So now I'm going to carefully remove this and put it on a cutting board. Which I've got here. Now I'm gonna take my Brummel and Brown that I've melted up and I'm gonna brush half of that onto this. And now here I've got a two tablespoons of the Lakanto granulated and then a teaspoon of the cinnamon. And I just kind of mixed it up together in this container. So I'm gonna sprinkle half of this on top. Now I'm gonna cut this in half and then half again and then into fourths. And that is all there is to this. You can cut these in whatever shape or amount you want, but I just like to cut them up like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other part of my dough, and then I will be back to show you what a serving size is. All right, I've got half of those on this plate here, and a serving size is gonna be a quarter of the total, so I've got two servings here. But each serving, the way I cut mine up, is gonna be about eight of the breadsticks, and that for me is five points. And as usual, I will have all the ingredients instructions and link to my recipe builder down below in the description box where you can see what your points are for these. But they're five for me, and I definitely think they're worth it because these are really, really good. And as I said, so are the cheesy Italian ones too, but just a different kind of flavor profile with these being more sweet, whereas the cheesy ones are, well, cheesy <laughs> and garlicky, but very, very good. And as I said, definitely worth the points. I've been really enjoying doing different breadsticks in my air fryer. I've got my hubby here to give a taste test on these. Say hello. Hello. Well, that's really zoomed in on you. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> Look they, at how good those look. Well, I honestly think they smell a lot better than they actually look. They smell good too, like Cinnabon. Yeah, it does. It smells like Cinnabon up in here. Cinnabon, right? Yeah. 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 Rocky thinks it smells good too. He's circling the island. Okay, we ready? You're, yeah, How I'm many ready. points? Um, it is five points for eight sticks oh. or, or a quarter of um, the total that it makes. Totally worth it. Is it? Yeah. I could have told you that before I finished. Yeah, I, I think so too. They're pretty dang good. Now, I was talking about the, the cheesy ones that I do too. Completely different flavor profiles. Mm -hmm. These are sweet, those are cheesy. Mm. But, <clears throat> thoughts on those compared to these? Well, this is dessert and that's not. Yeah, I guess um, you could make they're, both. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're not comparable. Yeah. Um, just fantastic, worth worth every point, real buttery. Yeah, I really love that Brummel and Brown. If you guys haven't tried that, it is a really good butter spread. It works for so many things like this. I use it to bake with and everything else. But mm. yeah, those mm. are, they're, they're, they're good stuff, oh, I would yeah. say. More of that, please. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, that was cinnamon breadsticks. Like I said, I will link the cheesy ones up above and down below too, if you haven't seen those already. Both of them are very good. I'm gonna have to come up with maybe another kind of breadstick to do, because we love the breadsticks around here in the air fryer. As I said, you can do these in the oven too, and I will have instructions for that down below in the description box with everything else. But thank you as always for watching. He's taking another one. <laughs> and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.